If you're like most people, you probably think that your phone is just completely safe with your measly four-digit passcode. And I mean, it's understandable. There's 10,000 possible combinations. What are the odds that someone could possibly just guess it and get in your phone, right? But you're thinking about it all wrong. In this video, we're gonna talk about why you should really make your phone pin code significantly longer. I would say probably at least six digits or more, and we'll go into why. First of all, let's address that argument that it's extremely unlikely for anyone to be able to guess your passcode. So what's the point of having a longer one? And that is true. It is very, very unlikely, probably impossible for anyone like a thief or some random person to just go in and guess your passcode. Plus, I know that iOS and I believe Android has something similar. There are countermeasures built into the phone that prevent someone from trying to brute force it with the passcode and just trying a bunch of passwords. For example, I know in iOS there are delays built in, so the more times you type in an incorrect passcode, the bigger the delay is between the next time you can try a passcode. I know it goes to like an hour plus, and I think just expands exponentially. And even further, I know with iOS, and I believe in some manufacturer phones for Android, there is the ability to have it set so if someone types in the passcode like 10 times wrong in a row, then it will completely wipe the phone. So that way, even if a thief does try to brute force it, they won't really have a chance. They'll have literally a 1,000 chance on a four digit code to even get in. But my argument for this video is that the point of having a longer password is not to prevent someone from just guessing it. It's kind of like the same thing with computers. It's not like you have a long complex password to prevent someone from just trying to log into your account and guessing the passcode. No, there are other avenues where a longer password is going to resist other attempts. For example, a much more likely scenario is that someone is gonna be looking over your shoulder or watching you enter the passcode, and a longer one will make it a lot harder to remember. I mean, this could be not just a thief, but some random person, I don't know, a coworker, a friend, who might just wanna find out your passcode and then mess with you and prank you or whatever, or actually spy on you, who knows? And if they watch you type in a four digit passcode, then it's probably not that hard to, even if they can't remember it completely exactly and see what you did, they can probably guess based on where your finger moves. And if they watch you do it a couple times, they can probably very easily figure out what your passcode is if it's just four digits. But if you make it six digits or more, that just makes it more difficult to try and remember. If they try to spy on you and they might not even expect it to be six digits, so they might look at it for four and then kind of be thrown off because it's six and it'll just make it harder. And here's something else to consider, which is that there are a lot of different services out there that require a pin to be specifically four digits. Anything from a bank code, like a debit pin, to a garage door opener, to like video game uh, payment pins, stuff like that. All of these require usually a four digit pin. So if everything requires the same type of pin, it's very tempting to use the same one for everything. So if you're using the same pin on your phone as everything else, that could be a big issue. Because if you are using the same pin for everything, then if any of those services are compromised, then they're gonna figure out the pin to everything else. And if you're carrying your phone around all day, that's probably more likely that someone just randomly walking around the street watching you is gonna be able to get your pin. And these could be some extreme examples, like maybe someone watches you type in your phone pin and then snatches your wallet and then goes and uses the same pin on your debit card and lo and behold, it's the right one. Or maybe you're at the checkout and you're using your debit card and they see you type in a pin and then they, I don't know, mug you for your phone and they have that as well. And yeah, I know those are probably really unlikely scenarios, but it doesn't have to be some thief watching you and stealing your pin. Maybe one of those services gets compromised, like one of the weaker ones that you are using all your pins for and you use it on something not very important, which then doesn't have a lot of security, it gets stolen, and then it does get opened up for a lot of things. But my real point here is that if you have a longer pin code on your phone, it's going to force you to have one that is different from everything else. Obviously, if, it, if you make one six digits, it's not gonna be the same as a four digit one, unless of course, you know, you just truncate it and use the four digits and just add on something for the phone. But that way, if someone does figure out all your other pins, then they can't get in your phone. Now, I've been using six digit pins as an example, but I believe most phones will allow you to have it pretty much as long as you want for a numeric pin. But here's another option. Instead of just using a numeric pin, you could actually use an alphanumeric password. So it actually pops up the whole keyboard. And you might think, well, what the heck is that? That's just gonna be so annoying, but maybe not necessarily if you think about it. First of all, you might not have even realized that a lot of phones allow you to use an alphanumeric password 
for the unlock, but you can. And also they're gonna be much, much more secure for several reasons. First of all, instead of having 10 possible values per digit, which is zero through nine, you're gonna have 36 because you're gonna have 10 digit numbers and then the 26 letters in the alphabet, that's 36. So the total number of combinations for however long the pin is, is gonna be 36 to the power of the length. Meaning theoretically, you could actually have a significantly shorter pin that's alphanumeric that is actually stronger than a longer numeric pin. For example, if you have a four digit regular number pin, that is gonna be 10,000 combinations. But if you have a four digit alphanumeric pin, that's 36 to the fourth power, and that is going to be 1.6 million combinations. I mean, even a three digit alphanumeric pin would have 46,000 possible combinations. So even that would be more secure theoretically than a four digit numeric pin. Now, obviously I would not recommend either way having one that short because even if it is alphanumeric, if it's only three digits and someone is watching you type it in, it's probably pretty easy to remember just three digits, even if it is alphanumeric. So you still probably wanna make it longer. I'm just trying to make a point. But here's another advantage of having letters and numbers in the passcode. And that is that if someone is indeed spying on you, which I think is probably the most likely scenario for someone stealing your pin code, is someone just watching you type it in. If they see a keyboard pop up and then you type that in, they might not even realize that you're typing in the unlock code because so few people have that. If they're waiting for you to type in the pin code, they're probably waiting for that uh, number pad to pop up. So if they see a, a keyboard pop up, they might not even realize that's what you're typing in and not be paying attention until it's too late. And then you realize, wait a minute, oh, they were typing the code and then they missed it. Now look, I understand that with face ID and fingerprint sensors mostly being used to unlock phones these days, it is gonna be pretty unlikely for a thief to even have the opportunity to see you type in your passcode. But that also is a two-edged sword because yeah, it's unlikely that you're gonna actually have to type in your password. Well then that gives you even more reason to make it longer. If you don't have to type it in that often, well, you may as well have the more secure one then. And if you really wanna get into pretty unlikely scenarios, there's even that company Gray Key, which is used by a lot of law enforcement. For a while, they had a device that theoretically they claimed would be able to unlock any iPhone with a passcode within like 24 hours, even if it was like six digits. Now, Apple did release an update that would basically disable the USB port altogether. So this type of device would not be able to be used and make it useless, but you never know if they're gonna have some sort of other exploit that will take advantage and bypass this. And it's always gonna be better to have a longer password in every way. So if you're still using a four digit passcode by now, I urge you to at least make it six digits. It'll make your phone a lot more secure. And if you're really willing to make it secure, then use an alphanumeric passcode. And these settings to change this type of passcode is gonna be in your settings. I'm sure you can find it on both Android and iOS. They're pretty straightforward. And then you'll be able to select the type of passcode, whether it's alphanumeric, four digit pin or longer. So I would like to know how long you guys' passwords are. Do you still use a four digit one? I do actually believe that if you have a new iPhone, they require six digits. I'm not sure about that, but if you've been using an iPhone forever and it just kind of carries over, it might not. But if you are using four digits, then let me know why. Or if you're someone who's just super secure and you do use alphanumeric, let us know how that goes if you found it to be too inconvenient or whatever. So that's really it. If you guys want to keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on. If you want to subscribe, I make a couple new videos a week, so it should be worth it. Also, be sure to click that bell so you get actually notified when I do make a new video. But either way, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.